controversial Muslim youth activist Yasmin Abdel Majid has been awarded a free speech prize for her offensive Anzac Day post. A civil liberties group gave the 27-year-old former ABC presenter, who now lives in London, its Young Voltaire Award for 2018. Liberty Victoria said the Muslim activist and writer, who previously worked as a mechanical engineer for Dutch oil giant Shell, deserved to be recognized for weathering criticism from internet trolls, tabloid newspapers and even numerous members of parliament. Yasmin refused to give in to fear-mongering, they said, despite being personally targeted by high-profile political figures through inaccurate and racist media reporting. She would not be silenced. Ms. Abdel Majid, who was born in Sudan and grew up in Brisbane, caused a furore in April last year when she published a tweet likening Anzac Day to refugees, lest, we, forget, Manus, Nauru, Syria, Palestine, she said. The hijab-wearing founder of Youth Without Borders quickly deleted that tweet and apologized unreservedly, however. Late last year she likened the criticism in Australia she faced to dating an abusive guy. Two months earlier, she declared Islam to be the most feminist religion during a clash on the ABC's Q&A program with former Senator Jackie Lambie. Support Sharia law in this country should be deported. So do you know what Sharia law is? Yes, but it doesn't what, have Do you know rights? what it is? Me Are you praying doing five Sharia law? Of course, do me you? praying five times a day is Sharia. Okay. Right? Like basic. What about the equal you, rights for women? What, what about what that about? That is completely separate from oh, Islam. So can be Ms. Abdel Majid had previously travelled to repressive nations in the Middle East and North Africa as a member of the taxpayer funded Council for Australian Arab Relations. But despite going on a taxpayer trip to promote her book and having a part-time job hosting the ABC's Now Axed Australia Wide, she described Australia as a neoliberalist capitalist project. She has also accused white Australians of having ancestors who were guilty of colonizing and enslaving the world and said the House of Representatives does not represent anyone because most federal lawmakers were white. Former Cabinet Minister Erica Betts last year called on her to move to one of these Arab dictatorships where forced marriages, female genital mutilation and sexuality-based executions are legal. Media commentator and public relations executive Prue Maxween also joked she would have been tempted to run her over. Mate. Liberty Victoria described Ms. Abdel Majid as a courageous activist on topics of race, equality and unconscious bias. She continued to speak out against racism, discrimination and harmful stereotypes, they said. Yasmin continues to give voice to the experience of young Muslim women in Australia and beyond. Last month, the Australian Human Rights Commission dropped a racism complaint against her, without specifying the nature of the complaint. Liberty Victoria awarded its Voltaire Award for 2018 to comedian and writer Magda Zubinsky for her work campaigning for gay marriage. The award was named after the 18th century French philosopher also known as Francois Marie Eroud who said, I disapprove of what you say but I will defend to the death your right to say it. English author Evelyn Beatrice Hall in 1906 attributed that phrase to him. Ms. Abdel Majid's free speech award has been criticized by former federal labor leader Mark Laham, who noted how she walked out of American writer Lionel Shriver's Brisbane Writers Festival talk in 2016 after she argued it was appropriate for authors to create characters from different minority groups. The Muslim activist, who walked out after 20 minutes, later accused Shriver of exploiting the stories of others as part of cultural appropriation.